Wow, what a world right now, huh? What a world. We got a lot going on. We got Amazon forest on fire. We got a pretty psychotic sociopath in the White House. We got global warming. We got mass shootings. There's a lot going on. So what comes to me when I think about all of this, feel into it, is roots and branches. Roots and branches. So we can run around all the branches, try to put out the fires, and that helps for a little bit. need to remember is the root. What's the root of everything that's going on? There's something down in the core of human consciousness that is knocked a little askew from the Tao right now. Tao, the way, is always there. The harmonious, natural way is always there, eternal, flowing under heaven. But humans can be in harmony with that flow, or out of harmony with that flow. There was this, uh, this book I read quite a few years ago. Someone, one of those uh, sages appeared in my life. I think his name was Eric. He was kind of a gypsy who hung out at Pete's Coffee. And he uh, gave me a copy of this book called Shikasta. It's an old sci-fi story. And in this book, we find that Earth was a, an experiment, a seeded experiment from another world. And this world had seeded the Earth with consciousness to see how that could grow and evolve. But another influence came in from this other small planet called Shikasta. And this was a corrupting influence. So this planet started to send down agents and energies which created a disease in the consciousness of the Earth and humanity. And that disease was called the loss of the feeling of we. The loss of the feeling of we. And that loss of the feeling of we created greed, one-upmanship, competition. I have to do this better than you, or I'm not good enough. So coming back to the root, you know, the branches, we have lots of issues right now. Social injustice, racism. So how can we as individuals return to that root of consciousness and restore the feeling of we? bring ourselves back in alignment with the flow of the river of Tao. As the I Ching says, to work on what has been spoiled. And this happens on an individual level. It's an action that each one of us can take to help restore our own natural root, the own true seed within each of us. So what is the action? How do we do this? How do we heal the root of our own consciousness that we can be a white blood cell, a healing influence in this world? The 
seems to me like the way to do this is to spend time each day drawing our consciousness back from the 10,000 branches of this tree. Drawing back from the media, from the stories that we're told from Facebook, even from our people in our world, our friends. Just draw back from all the ideas that are around and outside of us. We can do this by turning our senses around, by dropping the eyelids, turning the light of our consciousness around back into the body. Find that point of spiritual light that is the emanation of your life. The point of spiritual light that's before ideas of right and wrong. Spend some time each day flowing backwards. The Tao is the reverse way, the returning way. So how do we return? Close our eyes. We look within. We listen within. Call all the pieces of our consciousness back into one luminescent point in the center of our being. In the old text, this is called the mysterious pass, which is neither in the body nor outside of the body. So we turn our senses around, we gaze within, we find this point where our thoughts are born. We plant our little seeds there each day, we nourish that point. We nourish that seed. We remember it. We root ourselves there. So that when we open our eyes and move into the world and do our good work, we're nourished by the fountain at the root of our being. that then the actions we take are actions in accord with nature, in accord with the Tao, because they're rooted in that point before our thoughts of right and wrong. And our prenatal self, the part of us that is, that is whole and complete before our parents are born, can emerge can be the, the wholeness behind our action, the wholeness behind our activism. That we're holding that seed of unity with each of our words, each of our actions, with each interaction, with what we write, with what we sing, rooted. And each day we draw back those 10,000 things into the one. And then from that one, we can emerge into the 10,000 things, but never lose ourselves. So that we don't become confused by all the work there is to do in this world. We're working on the root so that the branches can be healed and whole. So that's what I'm feeling today. <laughs>